Tops 1. Apply recurring owner charges. Applying recurring homeowner charges in Tops 1 is done through the Accounts Receivable menu. And Charges. To access the Apply Charges function you can either click the Apply Charges section on the screen or click Actions. Apply Charges. If you neglected to select the community before choosing this function, you can always change the community at the top of the page. If you need to change the posting date, click the calendar icon under Post Date. Then choose the correct posting date. The Apply Charges function can also be scheduled. We're not going to schedule this function, so we'll choose this time only. You can also choose which of your recurring charges to apply. Because I'm applying March charges, I'm going to turn off the application of my quarterly special assessment, because it doesn't need to be charged until next month. Once all of our settings have been updated, click Accrue to accrue the charges. We're now given the details of our accrued charges. You can see the charge code and number of homes being charged, along with the total of the charge batch and the associated GL accounts for the charge. Further down, you will see each of the homeowners included in the charge batch. You can edit the charge amount for a particular owner by clicking the pencil icon to the right of that owner, and then changing the dollar amount of that owner's charge. To save the change, click the check. You can also delete an owner from the batch by clicking the X icon to the right of that owner. That owner is now no longer included in the batch. If we scroll back to the top of the batch, you can see that the batch total has been updated to reflect our changes. Click Post to apply the charges to the owners. Immediately after posting the charges, Tops 1 will automatically apply any owner prepayments received to those charges. Since this community didn't have any owners with prepayments, there were none to apply. Our posted charge batch is now displayed on our AR activity feed. To see the details of the batch, click the down arrow to the right of the batch. I'm going to add a comment to this batch to make a notation of the changes that were made prior to posting. First we'll enter a general subject, and then enter the details. Click Add Comment to save. We can view our comment at the bottom of the batch. Clicking the down arrow in the comment section will reveal our comment details. This concludes our Tops 1 Apply Recurring Homeowner Charges tutorial. Thank you.